y'all doing out there? It's Paw Paw again. <laughs> Uh, to all my normal, or to all my subscribers, I shouldn't say normal, ain't none of us normal. <laughs> but to all my current subscribers, I want to let you know ahead of time that this video right now that you're watching is not a typical video from me. This is not a video that shows you how to cook something. This ain't a video to show you how to make something. This ain't a video to tell you how to save money. What this video is about is I'm trying to reach out to other young men that have the same birth defect that I have. Uh, I have a birth defect called Poland's Syndrome in that I was born without the pectoral major muscle on my left side. I have it on my right, but not on my left. And for those of you that would be offended to see Paw Paul take his shirt off, we'll just go ahead and leave now. It's no big deal. Uh, this isn't uh, this isn't a video, you know, for those that are that are, are faint of heart. But what this video is is to let young people young men that have this same condition I have is to let them know that there's no big deal, okay? Now, I'm fortunate I was not born with webbed fingers or toes or a deformed hand. I was born without the pectoral major, okay? Now, I'm going to warn you ladies right now and any, any, anyone that would be offended, I'm going to take my shirt off in less than a minute and I will be spending the rest of the time on this video without my shirt on because I am not ashamed of my body. And any young, young people out there that are, that are suffering from the same condition that, that I have, there's no reason for you to be ashamed of your body either. Okay? The opinion of other people does not matter and should not affect how you feel about yourself okay but it it really pained me it brought a tear to my eye this one boy was blogging about it and it he was talking about the same experience that I was having and the same thoughts that I had as a young man hesitant to take a shirt off at the at the beach or, or the swimming pool or couldn't go swimming at the swimming pool because you know he looked different. He didn't have this one muscle right here. And when I was a kid, they didn't even know what it was. The doctors that I went to never had never seen it before. One doctor told my mother, he said, he needs to swim to build that muscle up, but that muscle ain't there. Okay? I was just born without it. And what happened over the years is because I still did hard physical labor and hard construction work is the muscles in my back right here actually built up bigger than this side to compensate for it. And one doctor told me he's looking at my back and he said that the muscles behind my shoulder blade back there were actually bigger and thicker. So it was to make up for it. But, uh, you know, it, it did bother me as a young person because I was different. And it took a long time for me to, to get over that. I mean, even at, well, uh, when I went to join the Air Force, I had just spent a summer of what we call hauling hay. It's where you're walking in the hay field, you're picking up bundles of hay, throwing them up on the wagon or the back of the truck and stacking them up, then going to the barn and taking them off the truck, stacking them up in the loft, okay? So we, uh, I just spent a summer doing that. And I went to join the Air Force. And I'll never forget, I was up here in Nashville, Tennessee. 
and this little old scrawny little old doctor, little bitty thing, he looked at me and he didn't know what it was. He didn't know it was called Poland Syndrome. He looked at me and this was peacetime, there was no draft, so they didn't have to take just anybody walk through the, through the door. They could be real picky. But he says, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. He says, hold your fist out front of you, and I did. He said, I'm going to try to spread them apart, and he tried. And he says, I'm going to try to lift them up, and he tried. He said, I'm going to try to push them together, and he tried. Then he said, I'm going to push them down and I picked him up. <laughs> he said, you're fine. <laughs> so, I actually did a full military career. Uh, I'm retired military. Uh, the fact that I was missing a muscle didn't affect anything as far as my life. I met a wonderful lady, and I remember when we were dating, I mean, she was only 19 when we got married. And I told her, I says, well, you know, I, I, I feel self-conscious about this. She says, no, that has nothing to do with me loving you. I thought, wow, ain't that cool? So it didn't matter to the girl that I was marrying. So why should it matter to me? But it did, and it bothered me for a long time. And it wasn't until, like, I don't know, maybe when I was in my 40s, that I ever found out what this was actually called. Uh, but you gotta understand, you know, we didn't have a lot of uh, computers, you know, over 20 years ago. Well, maybe 25 years ago, whatever. But I mean, there, and there was no such thing as an internet. So we've been able to, to learn so much so fast in the past few years. And I don't know why it was that I just happened to type in Poland Syndrome there on the, on the uh, 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 YouTube search box. I don't know why I did that, but I did. I was because I was thinking about something else. But anyway, uh, uh, I saw I, I saw in our, where, where young men, you know, in, the, in their twenties, they were so self-conscious about it. They were going and they were getting. A reconstructive surgery or a plastic surgery to try to to like let's see okay this is this is the real one this is the the one I don't have and they were getting reconstructive surgery and, and doctor injecting them with stuff like silicone I don't know what it was it, it wasn't silicone but he's injecting stuff in here to try to build it up to match well that's all well and good at that point in your life but what if you go out there you start doing bodybuilding it ain't gonna build up <laughs> <laughs> so I, I never ever considered the the possibility or the or the idea. I never considered the idea of uh, uh, breast augmentation surgery. You know, I didn't see any reason to get a boob job or any plastic surgery because you know it would only apply to me in the shape my body was right then and there. Can you imagine I go in there, 310 pounds, a big old fat ass like I am, and he matches this right here to the big old fat boob I've got right there, and then I do lose weight, and then I got this big fat one over here. <laughs> well, I just want you young men that have this condition to know that it's okay. You're going to live your life fully, and if you think that it's going to make you feel better about yourself, because you know to to spend thousands of dollars getting a surgery just so you look better in someone else's eyes, rethink that, because the only person that has to be happy is you. And I have you know. As I got older and I found out what my, you know, what this condition was called and what the deal was, then I went without my shirt a lot more often and, and then the military guys look at me a little, little quizzical, you know, just normally, you know. Uh, did you have surgery? Did you, you know? And I said, oh, no, no, it's a birth defect called Poland syndrome. I was just born without that big muscle right there. This, oh, okay. And because I treated it 
nonchalantly, like, nah, it's no big deal. It was no big deal to them. But if I'd freaked out over it and, oh my God, yes, I, then they'd think it was a big deal. But because I handle it in such a way, that ah, it's no big deal, it's just I'm missing this one muscle right here is all, then... They said, oh, okay, that's cool, and we're going about a business, and it was never discussed again. And, but that's been the best way I could, I could handle it, just, just tell people, oh, yeah, just tell, just tell them to be factual. It's a birth defect. It's called Poland Syndrome. It affects one in about every 10,000 people, and uh, they're just born without that muscle. Just a birth defect, and I said, okay, so, so be it. And what's so funny is, so many of my friends actually said they never noticed. You know, they said they never noticed, especially when I wasn't fat. <laughs> but when I got my shirt on, nobody notices. If I'm wearing a, a skin tight shirt, you know, I know that, that I have Poland syndrome. I know that I'm missing a muscle. But if I don't draw attention to it, neither do they. And so like I said, I just hope that maybe I should help some young person out there that, that feels a little self-conscious about themselves. And uh, I, really feel for, uh, I really feel for the ladies. You know, this doesn't just affect men, it affects women also. And I really feel for you girls because your, your chest is so important to a, to a, to a woman. And uh, I mean, it's not that it's not important to a man. But it's, uh, you know, in our society, I can uh, totally understand why a lady would want some help. But guys, hang in there. Don't let it get you down. If you want to talk, uh, leave me a comment on this video if, if, you, if you want to talk about it. And I'll tell you what email to uh, contact me at. Matter of fact, I will put a, a link to an email right here. This email right here, you can email me at Paul Paul. Let me get this right. Here we go. Thank. I think this is right. Paul Paul at lighttube.net. Okay? So you can email old Paul Paul and if you want someone to talk to, and I'll be happy to converse back and forth with you by email or telephone, whatever. But uh, don't let it get you down. And it's okay to, to feel down a little bit, but it's not okay to live your entire life in the shadows or ashamed of yourself. There's nothing, because there's nothing to be ashamed of. All right? Oh, let me get the phone. Oh, I hope it's a telemarketer. Oh, it is? Oh, just a minute. <coughs> Yellow? Oh, they hung up. Dead gun, they must have figured out that I was uh, that I was on the do not call list. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Like I said, if you need somebody to talk to, I'd be happy to talk with you. Y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye.